Yes, it's great to be back here. Um, Andrew and I were here about seven years ago, and uh, we had a lovely time. We were well looked after, and we had a great reception from the audience. So thank you very much once again. And now Andrew and I are back, of course, with um, uh, a couple of extra friends. Um, I should introduce you to the band, in fact. Um, we're a group that draws its members from Britain, from Australia, from Finland, and from Armenia. And uh, our Armenian friend over there on the left is Tigran Alexanian. And Tigran is uh, a master of the Armenian national instrument, the duduk. And next to him is Sanna Kurkiswonio yes. from Finland. Yes. And Sanna, in addition to singing, was playing the Finnish national instrument, the kantele. And this is, this is a very fine electric kantele, a 21st century kantele. And uh, on my right here is Andrew Cronshaw. Hello. Uh, and uh, Andrew was playing the zither, um, the electric zither. And also you saw him playing the fujara, the Slovak flutes there. It's a big whistle, really. Yeah. Just three holes. Yeah. Do you know, I, 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 I just got through half an hour without speaking, and it's killing me, actually. Yeah. Go on, Andy. Um, yeah, this is just a big whistle. Um, you know, shepherds normally, while they're in the hills, they whittle a small object like a diplitzer or something like that to, 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 to while away the time and entertain the sheep. And they've nobody to worry about themselves except themselves and the sheep and goats. But um, in Slovakia, central Slovakia, where the mountains aren't very high, they're kind of nice grassy knolls. Um, you know what a knoll is? It's a lump. Yeah, lump. One of, one of those. Yes. Um, uh, they, they, the shepherds there, instead of doing that, while they're at home in the long winter nights, presumably, they, they carve themselves these things. Um, and um, you notice it's bent. It's, it's, it, it bends in a mysterious way. Um, they start off straight, and uh, then they, they bore it out. And I'm never quite sure how they make it bend the right way. But then when they, once it's bent, they put all these pretty decorations on it. And it's become quite a thing in central Slovakia. Um, and um, actually, strangely enough, this one, uh, tomorrow night you've got um, two bands on, and one of them is a guy called Balash Sokolai, Balash Dongo Sokolai, um, who is a, 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 a great multi-instrumental wind player. And he actually got me this. Uh, before I'd been to Slovakia, he actually found this in Budapest for me and sent it to me. Um, I picked it up in Vienna, um, and, uh, and I've been playing it ever since. So I don't know whether he's here yet, but, if, uh, but I, I th I'll thank him, and you should see him, because he's an amazing player. He makes all sorts of strange noises on wind instruments. Um, so tomorrow, anyway, we'll, we'll carry on. Uh, speaking of odd instruments, we'll show you this one. Yes, yes. Now, Sanna was playing the cantele. Yeah, but there is one oh. thing missing, actually. And it is oh. there. The gentleman oh. there is Ian Blake from Australia. Right. <laughs> Hello. Uh, thanks, Sanna. <laughs> now, the cantele um, is... Uh, the Finnish national instrument, but what could be better than one kantele, um, but two kanteles, one on each side. <laughs> and Andrew has spent a bit of time touring with uh, some musicians from Madagascar, where traditionally there's an instrument um, called the marovan, uh, which is like a zither, it's like, well, it's a bit like two kanteles together. And Andrew asked a friend in Finland to make this new design of kantele for him, and he's called it the Maravantele, um, a combination of the Maravan and the Cantele. Mm -hmm. 